Now, Leicester City's story of title triumph captivated the world, but in less than 10 weeks, they will be playing their first game back in the Championship. Relegation from the Premier League was confirmed despite a 2-1 win over West Ham on the final day. Attention now turns to the future and who might remain at the club for next season. Kirsty Edwards is at the King Power Stadium. Uh, firstly, Kirsty, the club have released a, a statement, haven't they? Yeah, it's more a message from their chairman, the man they affectionately know here as uh, top. So there isn't anything in, in terms of details of a rebuild, what will happen with the manager, etc. Um, but as I say, a, a message from him and, and the key message from him is we will be back. He talks about the fact that when his family took over this club in 2010, they had a, a, an ambition, ambition to, to get the club up to the Premier League because they were in the championship at that time. Uh, it took them four years to do it. He talks about all the highs and the lows that they've been through since then. And uh, he also goes on to say he's had a lot of messages, some of them hurtful from fans, but also a lot of positivity. He thanks them for that. And he goes on to say that we want to thank you and, and let you know that we will still have the same ambition for Leicester City that we had 13 years ago. I'm with Ian Basin, who's from the Foxes Trust. Ian, you've had a chance to read through uh, that message from your chairman. What do you think? I think it's a pretty good message. I'm glad he's done it. It's been issued fairly quickly, so he's got a message to the fans because I think we wanted to hear from the owners, so I, th I think that's a good thing. I think it's a bit sad that some fans have gone abusive to him. I mean, I, I think you need to be careful what you wish for for some fans saying that they want to change of ownership. I think that, that's totally wrong because he's always had the best interest of the clubs in, in his heart, as, as, as had his dad previously. So I think that's that's sad. But um, no, we, we, we do need to rebuild, and I think you've got to get behind what his message is, which is, we'll come again. What was your overriding feeling yesterday here at the King Power when you finally realised it would be back to the championship? It was obviously one of disappointment. I mean, you think for the squad that we've got that we shouldn't really be getting relegated, but I think that's been also part of the problem mentality-wise that I think we believe that we're too good to go down. Uh, and you, you get some of the messaging that was coming out probably from Brendan Rodgers previously and, and some of the players occasionally perhaps not realising the seriousness of the situation. So, so it was one of disappointment, but then at the same time as the final whistle was blown, I was also thinking back to uh, what happened when we won the Premier League and when we won the FA Cup, and that's something probably I would never have dreamed of in my lifetime, doing both of those things. So you've got to look at those positives, which also the owners and the, the people around the club delivered to us. There's a lot that needs to happen now. First of all, you need to sort out the manager situation. Dean Smith only here on that seven-week contract. We don't know what will happen with him now, whether the club wants to keep him, whether he wants to, to stay on. What are your thoughts? I don't, I don't I mean, I'll leave it up to the club to decide. Um, I think all we need to do is get behind whoever the manager is for next season. That could be Dean. They may choose to run with him or they may go for a, perhaps a, a manage, up and coming manager that's doing well in another club and, and bring them across that way. So I think we've just got to get behind whoever the club decides to choose uh, and then wait and see what the rebuild is and see if it's more of a, a, a different format of playing or whether it's more in the style of what Brendan was doing previously um, and, and take it from there. You talk about the style of playing um, in terms of the players you'll have here for that. Obviously, there are a number out of contracts now. The likes of Yuri Tillemans can go for nothing. Um, it looks likely you'll lose the likes of James Madison, Harvey Barnes. Are you concerned about all of that? To a degree, but I think you've got to then look for those replacements and that's what the summer's all going to be about. And obviously, as you mentioned, with Tillemans and Madison going, there's the vast majority of our creativity gone from the side in the midfield. So we've obviously got to find a creative midfielder along with many other changes. And I'm sure there'll be other players that go financially. They may want to go or we may the club may want to sell them and, and reinvest the money in a, a different squad. So... Um, Obviously, there's be salary reductions might mean players want to go. So I think when we turn up on August the 4th here, if it's a home game, we'll probably see as many more new players than existing players. So it'll be a whole, whole restart, refresh. There's been a lot of negativity. We heard the chairman saying he's had a lot of that in, in, relayed to him in messages. We've heard people talking about worries about the finances and, and how much money you will actually have from parachute payments to go on players, that kind of thing. But you seem 
very positive. Why is that? Why, why the positivity? I think you've got to have a positive mindset. It's no good going to, to the start of the next season and being all doom and gloom. I think you've got to, to, to just get behind the club and, and, and build. I don't think, uh, as far as parachute payment is concerned, yeah, a lot of that I think may already have been taken to buy money, uh, buy players at the end of this season. So um, you, you've just got to rebuild with a different mindset and a different level of player for the championship, really. I mean, they're not going to be on the same salary. You, you may find there's some players in League One or the championship that we can take um, and build again and start again. It, it's got, I suppose it's because I've been a fan of the club for so many years. I've gone through it before. We've been in the championship well, that one season in League One. So I've seen it before. The disappointment is we thought we may have been an established premiership club that were going to stay there for a long while and we haven't achieved that. So championship football next season. Um, do you hope this club, do you think this club can make an immediate return? Dean Smith talked about all the facilities you have here, that incredible training ground, this stadium. Do you need to be back in the Premier League as quickly as possible? Well, I think you do, but I don't think it's a given that we'll be back next season. I mean, I know Burnley have just achieved it this year, but uh, often they play, uh, clubs don't come straight back up and there's a lot of good sides in the Championship, so I think, don't think we can bank on it, but given the resources we've got and the training ground and all, it, it, when you're attracting players, I think the training ground will be an attraction to bring players in. So I think there is an advantage to that, but I don't think we can guarantee that we'll definitely go up next season. But of course, we'll all want that. Well, thanks, Ian. Uh, as I mentioned there, Championship football next season, we've got the League One playoff, of course, this afternoon. Whoever wins that will be here at the King Power next season. They will. And thank you very much indeed, Kirsty.